guys, welcome back. Next week I'm gonna start decorating for fall. I love this season so much. And recently at a trip to HomeSense, I saw these gorgeous centerpieces. They're long box centerpieces and they were really expensive. <laughs> they were, even at HomeSense, $140 for one of these. I decided to make my own for under $20. I love it and I'm gonna show you how you can make one right now. My husband made me this box that holds exactly three floral foam bricks from the dollar store, but if you can't make a box, don't despair. You can easily use tissue boxes or Kleenex boxes, stack three of them together, and inside you want to put your floral foam just like this from the dollar store. Now to hold those three boxes together, simply wrap it in some duct tape. You can use regular duct tape or any colored duct tape if you don't want to paint. I went ahead and painted my box. If you're using duct tape Kleenex boxes, you can go ahead and paint your duct tape box just like I did here. I decided to distress it. If you don't like this look, you can totally skip this part, but I'm going over it with some uh, dark and clear wax and just sort of rubbing it to give my box a really aged look. I just like the way that it looks. If you're not a painter or you're short on time, don't worry about it. The Dollar Tree has amazing faux wood and different type of contact paper that you can use to cover your box or cover your Kleenex boxes to give it sort of an aged or a wood look. This is how my aged box ended up turning out and now it's time to fill it with flowers. So if you're using Kleenex boxes, you've already added the floral foam, but I'm just adding them in now and uh, I have to take the wrappers off, but now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add the flowers. So what I did actually is I, I got four of big, like bigger flowers from Michaels. They were having a buy one, get one free sale. So I ended up doing that and the rest are all from the dollar store. I also got three dollar store candles. They're vanilla scented. Those are hard to find. So I was excited to find those at the Dollar Tree, those tall pillar candles for just a dollar each. So I went ahead and clipped it all off. So I have, you know, all the flowers individual, uh, lots of the dollar store flowers. I was surprised actually at the section of the dollar store. So here's how I made it look really even. I put one flower on one side. These are the two ones from Michaels that I got. I think they were $4 each, but it was buy one, get one free. So they ended up being about $2 each, which is a pretty good price. So uh, as I put one in one side, on the opposite side, I put an even one so that the box looks really even. This is just because I have no artistic design. This makes it like fail proof. You can't go wrong when you do it this way. So for every one that I have on one side, I put another one on the other side. You get it. So I'm speeding it up now. You totally get the idea, right? And now I'm filling it in with dollar store stuff. I actually decided that I wanted to add some pumpkins. So I had these two gold pumpkins that I got on clearance last year from Michael's. I decided to incorporate those in the long box. So I just tucked two gold pumpkins in there as well. The Dollar Tree has tons of options. So this is what it looks like. Dollar store pine cones were added in there just to fill it up a little bit. All in all, I spent under $20 and um, I thought it looks beautiful. It's a great price and it's really classic. You know, I tried to not have it like bright oranges this year. I'm trying to tone down my decor and have it more creams and whites and gold. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are feeling inspired to make a long box for your table today. And stay tuned next week. I am doing a fall home decor tour thing where I show you all my fall decorations. Can't wait for that. That's going to be exciting. I love decorating for this time of year. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button right there. What the heck are you waiting for? Uh, we will see you next time.